Hey YouTubers, I wanted to do just a quick little tip. I know uh, some of you are familiar with the expression uh, back cutting your valves or back cutting your intake or exhaust. There's different techniques and uh, flow enhancements you can get at low lifts when you do certain back cuts on your valves. Um, something I wanted to point out to you guys <clears throat> Okay, here's a example. Here's a exhaust valve, an LS exhaust valve that's been refaced. And if you'll see, it's just got a single angle cut. It's just got a single face cut on it to match the angle on the valve seat to seal to the head. You can, um, I don't know... A lot of people that are doing it nowadays, but it used to be a big thing to right here, right where your ceiling angle goes to towards your stem, you can do an additional, gosh, I'm, my brain's almost awake. I want to say it's like a 30 degree cut to remove that little ridge right where it goes from your ceiling angle towards your stem. But what a, lot of, what a lot of people don't realize is another cut you can do to your exhaust valves is on the face side of it. And it's kind of hard to see, but I'm going to try to do the best I can. But right where that new ceiling angle meets the face, the outside, this valve does not have an additional relief cut on this outer edge. It just is factory. It's all just factory angle, factory seal, factory exhaust valve. But what I wanted to show you that you can do to your valves that help your exhaust flow, especially at the lower lifts, right? As the valve comes off the seat, is if you'll look at this cylinder head, and I'm gonna zoom in so you can see it a little bit better. What they did at Nolan cylinder head was they put a small chamfer or out, uh, back cut on this outer edge, like right where the face of this valve, exhaust valve, comes over and right on that edge, they did a little back relief cut on all the exhaust valves. And what that does is that, if you think about it logically, this is your intake valve. So when the air is coming in, Anything you can do to smooth that transition to relieve any kind of uh, restriction to that air coming from your intake port into your cylinder is on the back side of the valve. So you're not really gaining anything by doing a bunch of back cutting out here. Although, as you can see, hopefully, so I'm hoping you guys can see this reflection, this shiny because what they did when they faced this set of valves is they put, even on the intake side, they just kind of took that sharp edge off of this outer face or where the face meets the ceiling angle. They just took and kind of back cut that just a hair to kind of just relieve that sharp edge after refacing. So that's where that air is going to come in the intake port boom, hit the back tulip or the back side of your intake valve. So anything that can smooth that air's path as it comes around the head of the valve can increase the low lift flow numbers. Now, it, now visualize, here's your exhaust valve. The exhaust valve, the air's going the opposite direction. So anything you can do to relieve the turbulence as that air tries to go from your cylinder to the valve to work its way around this head to enter the bowl area to exit the head is an you know it's an improvement so what they did was they added this little cut to help relieve that area to help that low lift flow numbers voila like magic we zoomed in i'm hoping hoping you guys will be able to see this little angle right there like here's the face of this exhaust valve boom and you see this cut that little angle which in person is really shiny 
where they've relieved that edge this way to help that low lift flow numbers on that exhaust port. And then if you look over here, you'll see even a smaller cut they did just to kind of break that edge because when you reface a valve, it'll put like a little sharp, almost knife edge on the edge of your valves that, you know, depend on how worn they are and how much they have to cut off. But the point is they went ahead and added that extra attention to detail at Nolan cylinder head and removed that little edge, which helps that valve flow the best as it can, best as it can, sorry. So I just wanted to share that little tidbit with you guys about those back cuts that you can do to your valves to kind of help them flow a little bit better. And you know, if you had enough time and money to invest, see you now this exhaust valve is still so thick after being refaced, they didn't, you know, feel the need apparently to do any cleanup on this one because I didn't ask for anything different on this uh, set of you know valves that are in the head I don't know but I would like to talk to them because I don't have a valve grinding machine myself I would like to talk to them on some pricing for adding that back cut to the intake and exhaust valves and for sure in the future doing the needed face back cuts on any valves I take to them because that's just easy, that's easy flow, you know what I mean? That's those low lift, easy enhancements that anyone can do just by paying attention to detail and using those little tricks. So anyway, I just wanted, I was just assembling this 243 cylinder head today and I was like, you know, I want to point out to everybody that, you know, these are small little tricks you can do to pick up, you know, a few little number, a few numbers specifically in the low lift range, ranges that can actually make a difference. So I hope they, hope that wasn't too confusing. I was just trying to throw out a real quick video to help somebody out if they're doing their own cylinder heads or if when they're taking their heads to somebody else, they'll know what to talk about, what others are talking about and hopefully be informed and get the best bang for their buck. So. Thanks a, God, thanks a lot for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. Hit up that little bell. Um, comments. Comments are monitored very closely by YouTube. So the more the merrier, guys. If you have any questions, hit, hit them up, and we'll see what we can do. Thanks again.